Welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. Commander, the Rhino. Oh, Newstead Springs Scottish Pale Ale. I've had a Scottish Ale, I've had a Scotch Ale, I've had a Pale Ale. I've never, I've had American Pale Ale, an Indian Pale Ale, never had a Scottish Pale Ale. Guess I'm going to have one right now. 4.5% alcohol, natural ingredients, no preservatives, Newstead Springs Brewery, Limited in Newstead, Ontario. Um, yeah. Let's just go at it. Let's go at it. Give her. Why is it covered in hair? Have you met this partially shaved gorilla? And I do use the term partially very, very loosely. Now, I've only had one beer from Newstead other than this, and I really, really liked it. But, um, this Scottish Pale Ale smells pretty horrible. Mm-hmm. It actually kind of smells like pea soup. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think, yeah, like split pea soup, yeah. I was going to say farm. But, no, the pea soup. Yeah, I get that. Smell this, Tim. Mm -hmm. You love pea soup. Though. Mm -hmm, I do. And it does. <laughs> <laughs> Smells basically like pea soup. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Smells like pea soup. It actually doesn't look bad. It's unfiltered. Um, nice color. You tried it already, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Way to jump the fucking shark. I always do. Here, Tim, drink that. I, I can't, you know, comment on the color and shit, so I just want to taste it. Yeah. Wait, wait. I'm just here to get drunk. So much stuff. Mm. You should see what you have waiting for you. You gotta drink that, though. Mm. Mm. Kind of tastes like farm, though. It's a little smoother than I expected, based on smell. Well, it is. It's really smooth. It's really easy drinking. I wouldn't say the taste calls out to me though. Mm. It um. Oh. <laughs> well, you mix the two together. <laughs> tastes like mold. <laughs> just it, it tastes like mold. Did you put two beers together? No, no, no. I, I finished that oh. other one and then. What is? Still. How do you know what mold tastes like? He's we've very all sensitive accidentally to mold. eaten mold. Come on. It's true. I have. Sure, we've all accidentally eaten mold. Big chunk of it. That's weird. I don't, uh, I don't like that nearly as much. I don't like the mold thing. No, neither do I, but, um... Maybe it's just me? Yeah, yeah, it's just you. You couldn't taste the honey in the orange in the last <clears> one, either. I don't think there was any. Yeah. It kind of has a, um, a tree or stick-like taste. Like, chew it on a stick. Woody? Yeah. Yeah, like a nature taste. Yes. But that's why it kind of tastes like mold. It kind of tastes like... Forest, death, I wonder. Dead forest. I wonder if there's heather sprigs in this. Oh. Don't know if it has the ingredients on there. Nope, sure doesn't. Ooh. I don't know. We it's, will never know. It has a nice sweetness right as soon as it touches your tongue, but after that, it's just kind of weird. It's bland and slightly strange. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, the pea soup kind of turns me off. The pea soup smell, but. The taste, there's nothing wrong with the taste. It's just different. It's not what you'd expect to get. Yeah, I don't hate it, but I probably would never buy it. Now, it's a Scottish pale ale, so it's going to be hoppy. It's going to be the pale ale type of stuff. You don't really get... I shouldn't say you don't get bitterness because it is bitter on the background, but it's not a coffee bitterness. It's not a floral bitterness, and it's not a... It's not a normal hoppy bitterness. It's just kind of like a, a woody bitterness. Mm. Yeah. It's bitter in the same way that matcha is bitter. It's it tastes like a damp forest, like a damp forest, literally, like a damp forest. I I, I think I think me and Chad are gonna agree here that it tastes like a damp forest. Yeah, like I, whenever I, that aftertaste, once I take a nice sip, that second I swallow it, it tastes like I'm chewing on a stick. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I could see. I mean. 
again, there's nothing bad about it. It's just different. It's weird. It's something I wasn't expecting. I find the more sips I take of it, the easier it goes down. Well, like, it's been I going mean, down easily for yeah, me since the beginning. Just, but you know, it becomes more neutral. It's not so weird. Well, it's just your body adjusting mm. to the taste that's going in it. Yeah, it's a very strange taste. And I mean, if you can buy this and get over the first or second sip, it's it's fine. It's just that first or second sip and that pea soup mm -hmm. smell. Because now that it's aired out, it still kind of smells like mm -hmm. pea soup. Which is weird because it doesn't taste like it. No, I know. It's um, kind of florally. <laughs> I, really I would give it... Stuff? I've been giving things... I've been giving most things tonight around the same mark. But um, I've just been trying to clear the fridge out of some of the older stuff and some of the weirder stuff. So um, I'm going to give this... You know what? I'm, I'm going to give it a 6.5. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I just wouldn't buy it again. I'd drink it if it was given to me. It's not bad. It's worth a try if you've never had it before, but it's just nothing that makes me want to go and get it again. I'm going to give it a 5. Really unimpressive. Right? Yeah. It, it tastes like a damp forest. But I drank all of it. And surprisingly, it got better the more I drank of it. Seems and you didn't have yeah, to play the troll toll. Yeah, you... <laughs> and I did not have to play the troll toll to get into that boy's hole. <laughs> you didn't have to play the troll toll to get in. Uh, yeah, actually, it's not... You know what? The more you drink of it, though it does still taste like a bog, it's almost an enjoyable bog. And I would probably give it a, a six for the fact that that's a ballsy goddamn flavor. That's a ballsy flavor. Now that he brought up Bog, it just hit me because we've had four beers now with it in it. It kind of tastes like there might be some Bog Merle in it, which might be what they throw in it for the Scottish flavoring. Anyway, yeah. So, none of us hate it. It's just not anything... It doesn't grab you by the balls and say, drink me or I'm going to rip these off. Yeah. Somebody grabs you by the balls, though. It's got a fucking taste that grabs you by the balls. Maybe not to make you drink it again, but man, does it let you know it's there. By by the smell and the taste, it lets you know that it is there. Anyway, thanks you too. Bye. Uh. It's like a Filipino kid with a guy that matches in a fireworks factory. Yeah, you know he's there! Don't go anywhere, man. Jesus Christ. Sit your ass down. <laughs>